I'm Claire Ridgeway of the Tudor Society and the Anne Boleyn Files and also of the series On This Day in Tudor History, those videos that I'm bringing to you every day. Now, to celebrate 10,000 subscribers, we did a Tudor challenge, which was me I did quite well, asking actually. my husband, Tim, you did very well, I did quite some well. Tudor questions and just seeing how well he got on because he hasn't studied Tudor history at nope. all. It's just indoctrination. It's recording my videos. It's uh, hearing the talks I do for the Tudor Society and being involved in the Tudor Society and the Amber Linfold. So it's indoctrination. You're wearing the same thing as you wore last time, I think. I am, but but it's a different. It's a different day. day. It really is a different day. <laughs> so we're celebrating how many subscribers? This Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand subscribers with a bit of the bell rings. Yeah, yeah, the bells always ringing. Okay, now I was a bit kind on you last time. You were, and they were questions that I'd picked, so I thought I'd be a bit more objective this time and let the cards choose. So I've actually taken some questions from this game, which is called The Tudors, uh, Brain Bites, Gain Brain Cells in this quirky quiz. And Tim, you'll be glad to know that it's for eight plus. I can... I'm so, qualified, I'm qualified. Yeah. So I've taken out some ones that I'm, were a little bit harder and they're split into one brain cell, two brain cells and three brain cells. And I'm actually going, I think, for mostly three brain cells, which are the harder ones. I'm not sure I have three brain okay, cells. Okay, no, no. <laughs> Thanks. So, <laughs> so are you ready? I'm ready. Are your brain cells? Yes, yeah, Tudor history. Okay. Henry VIII. Where is Henry VIII buried? Oh, Windsor Castle, but do I have to say which It wants chapel? you to be, yes. The chapel of, I've no idea, Saint something. Yeah. Saint Edward. Who's the patron saint of England these days? Saint Andrew. Saint, that's Scotland. That's... <laughs> Hi, all our <laughs> Scottish fans. Um, Did you see my look of contempt and disdain there? You don't know, you're English. I'm and English. You don't know. I don't live in England anymore. St. George's Chapel. St. George's Chapel. You've been to it, you've seen his slab. True, I have. So, uh, do I give you a point for Windsor half, Castle? Can I have half a point for so that? So, that's kind of. Half I'll put that there, it's not right or wrong. Okay, the Mary Rose. Okay, yep. Okay, mm, I think you'd know that one, so I won't go for that one. Did the Mary Rose sink off the coast of Plymouth? Portsmouth or Dover? That's a great question. Definitely not Dover. I'm going to go for Plymouth. No, Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Because <laughs> I saw your look. I saw your Sorry, look. My thinking is really bad. We've been to the museum. We've been to the museum, yeah. Seen the ship. You were lucky there that Portsmouth. I didn't go on your Portsmouth. first. So that's all right. Yay. Okay. okay. These are harder. Sir Francis Drake. Okay. In which ship did Drake sail around the world? Well, it changed its name on the way. Oh, oh, you're going for a tricky one. I am, but that, of course, that's a bad idea because that okay. means I. It actually, the, the answer they've chosen is what it was called when he renamed it. When he renamed it, it was renamed the Golden Hind. Okay. But before that, it was the Pelican. I'm stumped. Okay, well done. Okay, Mary the First. Okay. In which year did Mary's reign end? Oh. And obviously it ended with her death. Yes. I'm trying to think of the Tudor Society mug now, which obviously <laughs> I drink cups of coffee out of all the time, so I ought to know. 15. <laughs> this is good. 53. Uh-uh. 1558. Oh, okay. She started her reign in 1553. Okay, well, there you go. So that was a definite wrong one. Okay, Tudor clothes. What was a peas cod? Can you repeat the question? What was a peas cod? Mm -hmm. Spelt P E A S C O D, all one word. I'm going to have to go for the fact that it's the same as a cod piece, which is obviously wrong because it was a from you. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. It's a doublet or a jacket. So you have a cod piece and a peas cod. You do, yes. 
Okay. Okay. Tudor battles. Ooh. Oh, those are too easy. Three brain cells definitely going for. Against whom was the Battle of Pinky fought in 1547? I'm going to see how. how. Are we, which two, sorry, English, English army versus the Scottish army? Oh, it's good. Well done. Okay. Famous Tudors. Shakespeare. Okay. Well, oh, this is really with. easy. Okay. For you. Which of Shakespeare's plays is traditionally not referred to by name? But can I refer to it? Perhaps you should call it what, what they call it when they don't call it by name. Come well, on, no, I'm going to go for it. Macbeth. Macbeth, yes. And do you know what, what people say so they don't have to say it? The play without name. No, I think it's the Scottish play. The Scottish play, it? you're right. Yeah. Scottish place. So that was the correct one. Yay. Tudor Holmes. What was a truckle? Oh, I know that because actually um, my parents used this word. Oh. It's a bed. Yeah. It's a little pull-out bed. Okay. Yep. A low bed, they mm. call that. Yeah, my yes, parents actually used that word, so there we go. Your parents are very Tudor. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Elizabeth the first. Where was Elizabeth buried? Oh, did they move her? She's in... Oh, yeah, it could be a trick question. It could be a trick question. Maybe it's not a trick question. She's now in Westminster yes, Abbey. Yes, she was. She's always been in Westminster oh, She's not one of the ones that they moved. Because no. they've moved various people, is not they? They have. And not her. But not her. Okay. No. So that was a correct one. Yep. Edward the Sixth. Oh, you'll know that one, you'll know that one. Hmm. For how many years did Edward reign? Oh, dates and history are really bad for me. Which, of course, well, I shouldn't have you, said that. Can you work because now for the out. next no, no, one, you're going to all the date dates. questions. Yeah. How long did Edward mm-hmm. reign for? Approximately. Uh, five years. Nearly. It's six. Henry VIII died in 1547. And Edward came to the throne then, and then Edward died in 1553. So I got that wrong. So, yeah, that's the definite wrong. Okay. World events in Tudor times. Okay, who led the first successful voyage to circumnavigate the globe? People often get this one wrong. Well, are we, oh, is, it the, is it who we've already named? No. It's not who we've already named? No. Um, Magellan. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Do you know his first name though? No, not at all. Ferdinand. I would have gone for Frederick. So actually, that was quite close. <laughs> not bad. Oh yes. Yeah, that that's right. right. That was right. That was right. That was right. Okay, Henry the Eighth. Oh, we all know this one. How many of Henry the Eighth's wives were not English? How many were not English? Now you have to go through them in your head. Don't I you? am. Yeah. I can see it. I am. I can see the cogs. Two. Well done. Which two? Catherine of Aragon, who was Spanish, and Anne of Cleves, who was Cleves. Cleves, yes. Yes. Which is now in Germany. Yes. Okay, so you got that one right. Tudor music. Okay. Okay. As a musician, you ought to do well on this. What type of instrument was a virginal? Uh, it's like a little kind of harpsichordy piano thing. Good. And had Elizabeth had one. A type of keyboard or piano. Yes. Yes, she had one with her mother's falcon badge on. She I did. Think. Very beautiful. Yeah. You got that one correct. Yeah. Okay. Tudor medicine. Ooh. Henry VIII devised many lotions and ointments designed to ease what? I have no idea. I'm going to give you a clue, because okay. I'm just so kind. Um, it was for himself. Yes, for his he didn't think painful, of <laughs> For his painful legs. Yes, his leg ulcers. I'm so kind with that one. Ooh. Was a longbow, this is Tudor weapons, was a longbow traditionally made of oak, yew, or pine? Definitely not pine. Yew. Brilliant. Yeah. Well done. So, 
Bonus question. Oh no, no. more, more Bonus fair, question. Oh, you'll know this one. This is an easy one. Tudor food. What was a trencher? A kind of a sandwich thing. No? No. No, you... Are you... Bread that you eat your stew out of. Oh, I already said no, so I'm not giving you that Okay, one. I'm not happy. It's not a sandwich. It was a piece of bread that you used as your kind of your plate or your bowl instead of having a plate you had your bread okay so let's see how they described it a thick slice of bread used as a plate so you're not having that one because i'm not kind anymore okay so that was a wrong so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven correct wow and a half. Eleven and a half. And then you got one, two, three, four wrong. I'm proud with that. That so, was really good. Not bad. So I'd love to know how you did or how your loved ones did, because obviously if you're watching this video, you probably know quite a lot about Tudor history, but why not test your significant other uh, who might have been indoctrinated like Tim and just so we'll uh, put the questions share yeah we'll put the questions underneath and you can share your scores and let me know how you got on so I think we'll be doing um, another Tudor challenge at 20,000 subscribers lucky yeah. me <laughs> well I'm trying to think how we can get the children involved as well we've got one son in Moscow one daughter in Granada at university and one one son at home so, you know, can we do it by the wonders of technology? I suspect we probably can. Perhaps so. Perhaps that would be a good thing to do. Ooh. Can't really test the pets. That's a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll be back with another Tudor challenge uh, at 20,000. Uh, to make sure that you see that, you might want to uh, subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell if you want to get notifications of new videos. I'll be back with you very soon with my On This Date in Tudor History videos. Take care. Thanks Bye -bye. for watching. Bye. Bye.